sijui diamond sijui maharagwe sijui coffee beans i cannot stand that kind of taste Now yes guys thank you so much for clicking on my video I know last week I could have a video and I'm very sorry about that so much was happening I had to prepare myself to come back to Nairobi uh maybe for those who don't know I am a student and I am in uni in Nairobi my parents stay in Mombasa that's where my home is and so I had to travel back to my place and I'm back into my tiny little apartment <laughs> I am so excited to be back and a lot of content is about to come your way so if you're not subscribed maybe you want to subscribe you probably want to subscribe because and turn on your post notifications so that you're notified anytime I post a video and when I was coming I thought to myself what better video to give you guys than a a house hunting tip experience for those who maybe will be looking for a house soon I know some students are going to be going to uni in September you can refer to this video to get your tips so without much more rambling let's get into the video so this is my notebook as usual house hunting experience and tips now the first tip i have is um identify your main non negotiables by that i mean what are the main things you cannot compromise on for instance myself when i was looking for a house i knew lighting was something i was not going to compromise on i knew the location of the house is something i was not going to compromise on because of transport na kwenda shule and all that lighting location and for me let me tell you guys when i was looking for a house for me something that i cannot i cannot compromise on is tiles like if the tiles and by tiles i don't mean at your house that has tiles no by tiles i mean tiles that are colored tiles that are sijui diamonds sijui maharagwe sijui coffee beans i cannot stand such kind of tiles and i remember when i was looking for a house every house that had that kind of tile i would just write it off immediately lighting as well cuz i knew i was going to start con content creation i knew i was going to get get, get into youtube and the social media space so i knew um lighting for me was a must i needed a house that was not dark and all that so for you as well identify some of the things that you cannot compromise on whether be it lighting be it maybe a kitchen that has to have a counter such kind of things like identify them so that it's easy for you to have a very really, um specific search when you're going to look for a house that's the first tip the second tip And I think this is very important because this is something that I I went through when I was looking for an for an apartment. Um let your house hunting buddy or my friend share your vision. Like let them share in the vision that you have for your apartment. I think when you're looking for a house and the person you're looking for the house with does not understand what you actually want, they may wrongly advise you. They may think maybe your desires are weird. For instance, kama mimi, the fact that I didn't want styles that were colored, I'm a someone if I was looking for a house with someone who did not understand that, maybe they would be like, "Ai, uyu na yeye ako na maringo." I'm a such such kind of things, you know? And because I know most of the times we got to look for houses with friends, I'm a with pals, like all that stuff because looking for a house alone is hard. It's not impossible, but it's very hard. I tried it. It's tricky. I think it's important that the person who you're looking for a house with understands what you want and so that they can share your ideas like they can share in your idea and they can understand why you want what you want so that it's not you don't have to continually explain yourself why you don't want this house and you're not looking for a house is tiring so mumezunguka mezunguka you've seen houses and maybe to them such kind of houses are nice but to you you don't like them so they need to understand so that they know when you're looking for a house this this you might not like and all that and all that my third tip Once you have identified your apartment and your house and you're ready to move in, kindly read all the formal documents given to given to you. Be it the lease agreement, contracts, whatever it is that the the management of the house is giving, read those papers. It is very very important. And what you don't understand, ask and ask and ask and ask. Make sure you understand everything by the time you're leaving that place because that is going to be your home. so that you are able to understand the systems that go into that apartment once you're moving into it you don't want to be at a place where you do not know the rules and the regulations of the place like for instance where i'm living there is a no pets rule i am personally not a pet person but if someone love loves to have pets in their house and they did not read through the contract and they have pets in the apartment that's already against the the regulation of the house so i think it's important for you to read through these agreements and these uh formal documents so that you're able to know what you're getting yourself into it's very very really important my next tip is beware of con men hey nairobi nairobi kona wa ikona wise 
and I think it's not even Nairobi. Everywhere in this country, people are thieves, people con people. So I think you need to be very oh, sorry. I'm getting distracted. I think you need to be very very careful. Let me actually give you guys a story. When I was looking for this house, I remember I I used to check up GG and all that because I was in Mombasa and I was coming to Nairobi. It's equally me kuja physically yet, so I had to start the the whole process when I was at home. So I downloaded I downloaded the GG app and I was looking for houses and all that. I saw this house and it was very pretty and I looked cheap. Back I looked like I is this really but i said let me just call so i called the guys and then they're like hey in mumbai inatafuta inatakwa sana so ukitaka just send some money so that we can hold it up for you and they're going to like hmm okay scare money it money is involved before you actually meet you actually go to the place physically be careful don't send money don't send money to anyone before you actually go to the place see it and once you send money send it to either the man confirm the manager who who is managing the house confirm who is managing the house am i the owner of the house don't just pay money to any tom dick and harry don't pay money to just anyone you'll end up losing your cash and it's going to be very frustrating so once you're looking for a, a house beware of government do not give out any cash unless you have visited the premises physically and then you have met the management you've met the people managing the house the person who's actually going to be collecting your rent every single month you get what i mean yes uh that also time to physically visit the place because i don't think it's wise for you to get an apartment maybe online ama somebody recommends an apartment and you've not visited the place yourself i know some people are comfortable with that but if you're like me i apana i have to actually go to the place i see what i like what i don't like and i know what i'm going to compromise on or what i'm not going to compromise on so i think it's very important for you to physically visit the place if you're able to that is you should you you could probably try and visit the place physically the next and final tip be patient do not settle easily like take your time looking for a house i know looking for a house might be very frustrating i remember when really i remember i was so frustrated i had 3 days to look for a house and to move into i had 3 days to look for a house and to move into it immediately so when i was looking for a house i was very very frustrated i literally had to do my best to get an to get an apartment as soon as i could so i think um when you're looking for a house that's something maybe i learned i you need to give yourself some bit of time frame so that you can be able to pole pole to tafuta nyumba tu bila haraka be patient take your time and look for a house pole pole it's it can be frustrating so if you frustrate yourself more with lack of time and rush i think it's going to be very hard so it's important for you to just relax and look for the apartment pole pole Now that's everything. I know there are very few tips but I hope they come in handy for those who will maybe one time look for a house or you're planning to look for a house whatever the case may be. I hope it comes in handy. So thank you so so much for watching the video and until the next one keep growing. Bye.